Hello, welcome to another video. In this video, I'm trying to come up with a solution to an issue lots of people are familiar with. When you run on a treadmill, you get a static electricity zaps. Static electricity is a stationary electric charge. What does that mean? Basically, if you're not connected electrically to something else, and you're doing something which involves motion, you can build up an electric charge. A very high electrical voltage or potential until pop, electricity jumps over to a lower potential nearby surface. Here is a web page with lots of possible solutions to treadmill shocking. I have tried all of these and none of them have solved my problem. I have this issue summer or winter, different clothes, different shoes, different treadmill base surface. My treadmill is well grounded, lubed, belt and deck are in good condition. Hydration is a good idea, but nope, still not the cause. So, knowing a little bit about electricity, certainly not an expert in the field, I know that to dissipate static electricity, I need to conduct to a lower potential. The casing of the treadmill is a bunch of grounded metal. Great. Zero volts. There is a product called a wrist strap used in electronics to prevent static electricity from building up in people when working on electronic products. My plan is to mimic this technology and implement it into the already required safety strap. So I'm gonna bring in the whiteboard, my uh, extra high quality drawing there. So we can see this is our treadmill. And we have a line earth and a neutral plug going into our running machine. And it has a metal earth all around the outside of this thing. So this is connected directly through to earth. Um, so you get the little string that comes with it. This guy. And that string isn't conductive at all, and that's on purpose because they don't want you to have a connection to this metal earth because it's not safe. Um, so what I have is a piece of wire just connected on here that I hold onto. So I'm effectively earthing my body. Now that's also not safe. I'm going to a little bit of math here explaining why that's not safe. So we have 120 volts AC here in North America. And we have an earth and a neutral, and these are both at zero volts AC. If a fault were to occur where that earth is lifted and the line gets shorted to this chassis, which is absolutely possible, by holding onto this cable, I could be putting myself at 120 volt AC potential and have the chance of getting a lethal shock. Um, so, one of the things we have is something called a anti-static strap, which is used a lot in electronics. Connect one side up to our clip here. The other side up over here. And one of the things you're going to notice is that that actually has, I get that, it's not a shadow, a one mega ohm resistance across it. So this cable has a one million ohm impedance. So this strap only connects you through one million ohms to earth. So it's an attempt to prevent a lethal shock, but it's enough to dissipate static electricity charges. So the plan is to sew in some conductive thread into this string and wrap a little piece around here. And then we'll have to install a one mega ohm resistor from here to the metal earth on the treadmill itself. And uh, once we do that, we'll be protected um, from getting a lethal shock. You know, if there's still some kind of fall that may cause a problem, but it, at least you just get a little tingle, you're not gonna get uh, electrocuted. Uh, it's much more safe that way. Um, this is probably a, a don't try it if you don't know what you're doing, but at least in, uh, in this case, it's gonna solve my problem, which means I don't get shocked all the time while I'm uh, using the treadmill, which I recommend everybody to get some form of exercise. Okay, so we have V equals IR, um, and we want to solve for I. Uh, so I equals V over R, so we have 120 volts AC, we have 1 million ohms. So we get 120 microamps, or 0.00012 amps. It's not going to cause a problem if something goes horribly wrong. 
So in the case of the direct cable over here, let's do some math. So we have V equals I R, which we're turning into I equals V over R. And we have 120 V A C. We're gonna say we have 10 ohms. And so that's going to be 12 amps. That's going to be a real bad day. So don't do this. One mega ohm resistor. That's in our safety cable there. And this is our chassis connection over here. And we have our conductive thread going through. So we need to make sure that this um, is basically protected. And then uh, over here, we have that one mega ohm before it touches any part of the chassis that's grounded. Okay, so here it is. The thread's all installed. We have just a bunch of loose thread on this end, which will hopefully make a connection. We have that going through. I have some heat shrink on this end, connecting to our one mega ohm resistor, so that's actually covered. And then we have a connector here, so if you have an issue where that thing breaks away, this can break away with it. You just put that in there really loose, so that way this thing can just pop off. And then this just connects to any part of the metal on the outside of the treadmill. Uh, I'm just going to wrap around the tubing on the outside. So, yeah, remember this is a pretty dangerous product. I don't really recommend anybody to go nuts with this one. Um, yeah, but it's going to solve my problem. It would. Uh, I'm sure they have some solution for this in higher-end treadmills, but mine's a real cheap one, so it just doesn't have the ability to uh, dissipate static electricity while it's operating.
yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.